Hello, my friends, and welcome to the 2017 and to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto, and today we will paint a crown sphere. We begin by drawing a circle with a compass. Priorly, I toned the canvas, and it is already dry. We trace a line with a ruler, which will be the end of the table. And we mix the color for the background. I'm using zinc white, ultramarine blue, and ivory black. We paint the background with this, and we will be adding some other colors. I usually use the zinc white when mixing colors, because it is more gentle, and it keeps the color you are mixing with more vivid. While the titanium white, which is whiter, is also more opaque, and makes other colors pale when you mix it. So I use the titanium especially when I need it pure, like for the brightest reflections. If you want to learn more about material properties like this, or painting techniques, I highly recommend you to subscribe to the Windsor & Newton Master Classes. They are a series of short videos with great tips like these ones. They are free, you just need to subscribe and you will get a masterclass every week in your inbox. I leave you the link in the information below this video. As you saw, we painted the main color of the table and now we do the shadow and begin with the sphere. I normally do the things that go behind first so that then we can paint the ones that go in front on top of them. We do a reflection of the table on the sphere, which is a bit distorted, of course. All right, very good. We painted the dark reflection of a door and other curving dark reflections. Now we mix a light gray for the wall of the background. But first I will add with some pure titanium white, a reflection of a window and of some lights on top. Did you already set some good artistic goals for yourself for this year? If not, I recommend you to do so and to work out how to reach each so that every day you can be working on those goals. We keep building the sphere with the reflections of an office. This is not going to be super precise. As you see, I'm painting pretty much a la prima. That is, on one sitting. With wet on wet paint. Almost all, but not totally, because at the end I will do some layers or glazing. I add more objects and some trees out the windows to make it more interesting. As for my goals, I want to learn more techniques that I will be passing to you, of course. I want to produce beautiful drawings, paintings and sculptures and exhibit them in a few cities internationally. And I want to grow this channel to a million subscribers, to serve a lot of people all over the world whose dream is to learn to draw or paint. Here I mix some tallow green with glazing medium to glaze the background of the painting. This will make it more greenish, but it is a transparent layer, so we will see what is behind. With this change, I hope this sphere will stand out even more. I was mentioning the goal of bringing this channel to a million subscribers. As you may know, my other channel in Spanish, Arte Divierte, this year reached the 1 million. Thank you for that. Now with the glazing medium and some burnt sienna, I will also glaze the sphere. This will make it more vibrant. By the way, there is also a Windsor & Newton masterclass on glazing, so don't forget to subscribe. We are almost done. I would love it if in the comments you can let me know what do you think about it, and what else would you like me to cover in the tutorials. Thanks! I think painting is so amazing. I love it so much. The last details and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips and to Patreon. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.